Welcome, horrible people, to the Horrible Opinion Podcast. As always, I'm your host, Kenny. New year, new me. Chuck Barnaby's the name. I'm the shadow on the wall, Ryan. And today, we're going to get real depressed with you all as we talk about 2022's hatching. Original title, Pahanal Toja. <laughs> That was the first time I looked at that, and I just went for it? I think you nailed it. Okay, let's crack this egg, fellas. Uh, Who wants to give me a synopsis of hatching? Can I do a quick uh, above episode, like, a disclaimer? Sure. It's happening. I I guess. I did not go to college. Bum, bum, bum. Yes. All right. (laughs) Go ahead with your synopsis. <laughs> how'd you do? How'd you do in grade school? <laughs> grade school aced it easy. Yeah. Yeah. How were your friends in grade school? Uh, good. I was very popular in grade school. Did any of them hatch a demon? Mm, I don't. Not that I know of. But you wouldn't any, know, would you? Did any of them parkour into a trash can? No, that was high school. <laughs> mm. Did Did any of them steal a orange construction cone? I did. Oh, you just outed yourself, bud. You're going to jail. Oh. Well, what was your favorite school lunch? <laughs> favorite school lunch? Spicy chicken sandwich. Uh, oh, Texas, hands down. Uh, yeah. The Texas, what are they, uh, the chocolate cake, Texas cake, you know? Texas sheet cake? Texas sheet cake, yeah, yeah, yeah. All I kept hearing was you saying, like, sexist cake, and I wasn't quite sure what that was. <laughs> I gotta get that sexist cake. What, what's a sexist cake? It is from Texas as well. Only men can make it. I used to make it a lot. Uh, before before we get into the synopsis, I have some uh, I have some alternative titles for this movie again. Oh God! I think whenever we do a foreign film, I've got some. Uh, yeah. So so my first one is Horton hatches an egg. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, and then uh, riffing on that a little, it's a uh, Horton hears a uh, oh who snapped that neck. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, an egg called Tinya. Okay. You're on a, like a whole Doctor Who thing. And, uh, and for your whole, for the highbrow folk, it's um, 12 steps to integrating your shadow. Oh. Oh. Look at you, Mr. Fancy Pants. Give me that synopsis, fellas. Okay. Here's what we're going to do, Daniel. We're going we're gonna <laughs> to tag team this. Okay. I'm, I'm going to say one sentence okay. and you're going to follow it up. <laughs> and okay. after that, I, wa- I will say the next one. Are you ready? Yeah. Hey. Oh, uh, hatching is a movie. Of, oh God, damn it! Is it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Cut that! Don't, don't, don't have me saying the movie we're out to review is a movie. That just sounds dumb. Ryan okay. did go to college. Lots oh, of college. Yeah. Lots, lots of college. Of, lots of degrees. Look Twice where it's got me. College as most people. Hatching is about a girl named. How are we pronouncing her name? Is it Tinya? Doesn't matter. Uh, I Tinja. Tinja, <laughs> not Tinya. Yeah, about a girl. Uh, and Tinya. we put her about ten, eleven. Uh, she is in a uh, a family has mom and dad has a younger brother. The family, the mom in the family is very. How do we want to put this? Uh, internet. She's got a blog. She's broadcasting. She's an influencer. The, yeah, she's social she influencer. She wants to right? be an influencer. And we discover that a bird crashes their little idyllic view of their family into through the window tenya uh, af- her mom snaps its neck tenya takes it <laughs> no tenya has dreams i'm te- daniel you're supposed to tag team in here buddy okay so here's where i would do the kenny thing of saying it's supposed to be a synopsis not a complete walk through the movie thank yeah. you i don't know how what is what is, okay the synopsis of this movie is a 10 year old girl uh manifests her shadow into the real world because of the trauma being caused to her by her family, and that shadow takes on the form of a bird, which then goes and runs amok. Yeah, okay. Balls in your court, Daniel. <laughs> no, that's good. Persona. 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 I thought, uh, yep, I'm with you. I was thinking, this is this is the game I watched my brother play all those years ago. <laughs> Kenny, did you think you would like this movie? Yeah, yeah. I said, yes, I see an egg. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, I also thought, you I know, see an egg, this I looks interesting. That like button. This looks yeah, interesting. I, I saw an egg. I'm like, look at the, where could we go with this? It's a big egg. Uh, based on the buzz, I thought I would like it. Oh, you yeah. thought you would like it. Okay. Um, do we think the IMDb rating will be accurate? It's a 6.3. 
I said that's kind of high for horror, but I've heard some hype around it, and I've seen it on some best of the year lists, so I'm going to say it's probably accurate. Do we remember what the Innocence got? A seven. Okay. Yeah, that rating, I'm like, mm. If this 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 is giving me the same vibes kind of that I which got from the, the innocence, which is the better yeah. childhood trauma movie? <sighs> this family is bad. Well, this this girl is. If the kids in the innocence had to live with this family, they would have murdered every one of them. Would have murdered everybody. They all would have been bins. Yeah, 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 yeah. This yeah. this family is bad. Okay. Yeah. Uh, next question. Do you think the trailer accurately portrays what the movie will be? I said, no, I think it's lying to me. I bet there's no creature. It's all in her head. It's all from trauma, and I'm going to be mad. Huh. This might shock you, but I uh, did a classic Daniel and didn't watch the trailer. Oh, I I also thought it was going to all, all be in her, well, that it was going to be in her head. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, if it... I, I, I thought there was, there, I thought we would see a creature... But I thought the it would just be her projecting it mental, yeah, in her head stuff. Yeah, yeah, like no one else would see it. Like it's all her. And for a while, you could you could say that that what that's what was happening up until a certain point where that uh, isn't. I'm with happening. yes, I'm with you, Daniel. We that's what we think is happening, but I, who knows when it actually transitioned? There wasn't an opportunity for anyone else to see it but her. Right. So right, but the I guess what I'm saying is. It's believable in the structure of the movie that it that there was no for a while up until a certain point. It's believable that there was no monster at any point. It was just all in her head up until a certain point where uh, outs people other than her start interacting with it and things like she would have to be teleporting to yes, that's right, like like the crocodile, like, like the, the croc. crocodile and croc Europeans yes. and teleportation. Yes, I did not go to call it. <laughs> <laughs> okay which of us if any won't like this movie to me i said i won't like this movie if i don't get an actual monster out of that egg now when you say actual monster like a puppet creature suit no, that's I, what you're I, talking I, about or you wanted something like actual physical in the movie uh, movie reality something physically moving around in the movie reality something physically moving around it could have been okay. cg it could have been the puppet, I don't care, but I need other people to be able to see it. I wanted the egg to be real. None of this hoity-toity, it's all in my head bullshit. Okay, mm. so you wanted a, what was the, uh, what's that movie? Was it Brood? I mean, that's a movie. You know what movie I was thinking about? It Was it Bad Milo? <laughs> Bad Milo, that's a that's good movie yeah. I was thinking about. Yeah, all right, you, so you, wanted, you wanted Bad Milo, you did not want High Tension. I like High Tension, though. Sure, but that's not what you wanted out of this movie. That's not, no, I seen an egg. <laughs> Look, Horton Horton got that egg. He hatched a little a little chaos demon. <laughs> yeah. I asked uh, which of us, if any, will like this movie. And I said all of us, provided that there's something that comes out of the egg. And then I said Daniel heard Persona is a and is a hundred percent on board. Yeah. I figured if if we could make it through the innocence, then probably we would all also enjoy this movie. I think this is oh unless it was boring. I think this is a more difficult watch than The Innocence. Really? This, in terms of trying, cause maybe it's just because I was trying to do all this psychology bullshit. So my, <laughs> so my brain. It's not bull, Daniel. People get paid to do that psychology bullshit. Sure, okay, sure, it's sure, a paying sure. job. But, but that you can I didn't do. Go to, I didn't go to college. So. <laughs> it's not. It's all YouTube, man. It's what college it's is. All on now. YouTube. You, you can learn don't, it all from YouTube. Don't even worry about it, baby girl. You don't. <laughs> Yeah, this movie was dense. It's the innocence is definitely what I kept going back to. I think I mm, I might have been made more uncomfortable by this movie just because we're stuck in that family dynamic most of the time, and it's just like, oh my god! Even if there's no weird shit going on, this family is fucking horrible. Yeah, in the innocence, uh, you're flipping between like three perspectives. Yeah, right? something like that. Something somewhere around there. Whereas th this one, you're just locked in with the one shitty one. Yeah, and you're just following this girl around, and it's just shit after shit, and she just has to grin and bear it? Like, uh, no, sweet baby girl, no. Yeah. I I hated, well, I guess, I yeah, I hate, and not the acting, because the acting's great, but the, the characters in it, I hated more characters in this movie, based on what their, their actions in the movie, than I did in The Innocence. 
but Innocence had me still just complete dread, anxiety the whole time. Where this one, we got that those we got the cool monsters, we got some cool things happening, some scary moments where it was more more back to being a horror an interesting horror movie, more comfortable. Yeah, well We'll have to talk well, when we get to it. We'll talk about the ending and how we felt about that, and if we got if we all got what we wanted out of that. Because uh, mm. this, yeah, this is a different this is a different beast altogether. It's still whew, it's going to bring you down. You're going to feel bad, but you are going to feel. And some would say that's the point of art is making you feel. And I, like I said, I hated some of these people. I sure. loathed them, and I was like, oh, you, oh, oh. At the end of this movie, I actually felt a little uplifted. I disagree. But we'll, 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 maybe we have different interpretations of what happened. <laughs> we do. Well, so that'll be yeah. fun to talk about. Um, yeah. Kenny, what, Kenny, what was your uh, roll the dice random question on this one? Uh, my roll the dice rando question on this one was, what's the one thing you hope happens in this movie? <laughs> I hope the egg is real and the monster is real and that we wonder if it is or isn't for most of the movie but we get an amazing payoff at the end like I was hoping they would never explicitly show us at all during the movie until like a last shot where it's I clear I would have you, liked you almost got well. it yeah yeah it was close to that I would like that more as well uh Daniel what was yours okay uh mine was what what could this movie do to embarrass itself? Oh, good, good, good. So the one. thing yes. you have to understand about me, other than the fact that I did not go to college, is that I think about the relationship between Donkey and Dragon from Shrek a lot. So how often is a lot? Uh, don't worry I, about I, it. I think we just leave this awkward. Pop, just no, just keep it silent. <laughs> let him go. <laughs> so I thought it would be embarrassing if. From out of the egg came a donkey dragon. <laughs> I mean, by embarrassing, do you mean wonderful? <laughs> I almost spit out my hot chocolate. That's amazing. That's a beautiful thing you just said. That would have that would have been a different tone a little That's bit. That's a but totally it, different tone. But it could okay. have worked. <laughs> so I've, I have other uh, takes on this question as well. Oh, that one was good enough. I don't know. No, nah, my other ones are like, uh, it would be... <laughs> It would be embarrassing if this movie went super try hard on the uh, Jungian uh, psychology shit and just got it all wrong. Okay. And then uh, a little twist the question up a little bit. It would be super embarrassing for me if on this podcast right now I go super hard trying to explain the Jungian shit and get it wrong. I think it's pronounced uh, Jungian. See, I've already, I've already done it. Yep. I, already I think I established it. that earlier. I've already done it. <laughs> my nah, my man, you fears good. You are all coming good. true. Hey, look, the goal of the podcast has always been to get you an education, and we're working on it, buddy. <laughs> I'm just happy with my that I made you guys happy with my donkey dragon egg. <laughs> well, now I'm picturing this whole movie turning into happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, that was a good show. Uh, Ryan, what was your question? Oh, uh, my question was, who did I think was going to serve? Which of the three of us would survive this movie? If we were in it, and I thought, mm, I think, I think all three of us would survive. I don't think any of us would have died in this movie. Uh, now, having watched it, possibly Daniel would have died because <laughs> of the gymnastics uh, angle. Because if you had gone in there with that cool gymnastics shit that you did, oh, let's tell a story of how Kenny and I once went to. One of Daniel's <laughs> gymnastics competitions, and apparently I dozed off, but Kenny had a full conversation with me for an hour. Oh, that's not the story I thought was going to get told, but the story that I thought Ooh. was going to be told, you weren't there for. It was Kenny okay. and Andy. Yeah. <laughs> Tell that hot box. Hot box. Look, I went to a lot of his things because I'm supportive like that. Hell yeah. And uh, there was a viewing booth above the gymnastics floor area. Only one way in there, and then benches, and it's all closed up, and you can see all the action. <laughs> and um, Andy and I are sitting in there, and there's some other people up there. <laughs> and I just let this nasty, like, fart. Like, I ripped that sucker out. I tore ass. It was glorious. I turn and I look at Andy. I go, Andy! <laughs> and the thing is, nobody could leave without walking straight through it. So they all had to sit there. <laughs> 
and deal with it. Oh, and they thought boy. it was him. They thought it was him. <laughs> <laughs> well. So you're saying I would have been the, the neighbor girl. I th- You would have been another, is it Rita? Oh, the, the, the neighbor the girl. It's Rita. Rita is the neighbor girl. Rita. Yes. And the dog is Rusa? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you would have been in competition with Tinya for the at the somehow or the, the uh, her um, her dark suppressed. I'm, I mean, I would point out just, that boys and girls do not compete. Do not either. compete, but do not compete. <laughs> <laughs> so Liz. yeah, I thought Daniel, you pro- you might have attracted the attention of the bird. So maybe you get, but even then, maybe you just get you know like a foot cut off. Mm. You actually will survive. You'll just be maimed. Well, she didn't die. Yeah, she didn't die. She had her fucking hands. Were her hands gone? Were that what they're implying? There were just stumps there. Yeah, one. She lost a hand. Yeah. Now how how that how that happen? How that happen? I'm gonna get some beak action. We're we're not there yet. We're not there yet. I'm sorry. Let's start. Let's start at the beginning of this. Of this. What uh, language are they speaking? Okay. Is is it um, Finnish? It is I, this is Finnish, and okay. so we are having a year, a, a year of just this. You know what is it? What's the region? Norwegian? No, that's a place. The what's country the, would what, be Finland. Finland. What's the what's the region of those upper Nordic? Nordic region. Sure. I, said I don't it. think I want to go there. It sounds Scandinavian, yeah. maybe. Uh, no, Scandinavian. Look, uh, I, like I to went point to out that Some of us did go to college, and so we have no <laughs> idea. We didn't study geography. We already pointed out we suck at like geography and history. When was Reagan? Eighties. Oh God, I was gonna say seventies again. Shit. <laughs> we're okay. Look, we're educated, but we're not smart. Once I uh, acquire the knowledge, it doesn't leave. But I That's do good. not acquire. I do not acquire knowledge. It's not. It's not to be acquired. Um. Yeah. No. So these. That's what. It's two we've done in this region, so to speak. Mm-hmm. Now, yeah. we're not saying they're all the same. They're their own people. We know they hate each other. I think they're actually chill with each other. Yeah, I don't know, man. Social media tells me otherwise. Or is it the Dutch? Do we all hate the Dutch? Everybody hates the Dutch. The fucking and Dutch. And I don't know why. I love the Dutch. I want a du- Have you guys ever had a Dutch baby? What? What? A Dutch baby. What is that? What? A Dutch baby is like this... this no, no, no. Breakfast. Tell me what it is without Googling it. No, I, I, gotta, <laughs> I gotta make sure I'm... Yeah, it's a it's a big pancake thing. It's a it's a Dutch baby. That's what it's called. You know what a Dutch baby is? It's a Dutch baby. It's a Dutch baby. It's like a puffy, like, bowl pancake thing, and they fill it with, like, fruit and shit. It looks good. I've never had one. I I'll want one. I'll tell you this. You look like you've had a lot of them. I've had a lot of pancakes. Tell you that much. That's what I'm saying. Right, right now. Beefy boy. How'd you feel about that opening scene of the mom like recording, pushing in, and we see her daughter? What I I thought she was doing like practicing ballet at first. Oh yeah, when she's oh, but she's it's all yoga-ing. those um, yeah she's the, yogoing it. But then you like you see yogoing. the back of her sp- <laughs> yogoing. Yeah, <laughs> you see the back of her spine as she's uh-huh. doing it, and then I'm like, oh my, I'm like ah, pet cemetery, Zelda. Never get out of bed. Never yeah, get out of like bed that. again. I don't like that. I was uncomfortable with that because I, initially I thought that was the mom and that she was like freakishly skinny. Oh yeah. Okay. Nah. Um. Yeah. It was nice that the opening video got worked into the fact that it was her opening video for her. Yeah. Her, her lifestyle her blog? blog or vlog. Vlog. Okay. I think it's a vlog. Yeah. Now I got a question off the bat because I'm not in touch. Mm-hmm. I got the sense from this movie that Dad doesn't have a job. I also got that feeling. And so... Because he's just puttering around with a guitar. Right. And so it's... Is everything financially being provided through this vlog? There's no way. It didn't seem like it was that good. Uh, A lot of them aren't. A lot of them aren't, but they still get followers. Sorry. Didn't seem like it was that big. It seemed like she was really, like, really pushing hard trying to get it started. I was getting the impression that that's what she wanted to do. Another thing is this is in a country where I'm I'm making some presumptions about Europe and social safety nets so that you would have more opportunity to pursue such things. There's social still... safety nets and then there's the house that they were the in. The house is op- opulent? Is that a they college? They well opulent, off. quite opulent. <laughs> She's balling out with this vlog. <laughs> The dad was like, the dad bought a new guitar. He had a room of guitars. And it's obvious that the dad is afraid to le- can't leave, even though he wants to. I hate this dad. Oh, my God. I feel so bad for this dad. No balls. I hate, no, I, well, so my first note, not my first note, my fourth note is I hate them all. I hate all of them already. I'm a me- I immediately was 
they're all fake. This is all fake, performative bullshit. Everything here is fake because it's. I hate it. Dad and the and, and the younger brother. They have the same oh, haircut. No. We, look, yes. we can have a whole Gross. talk about the younger brother. Okay, don't dress your kids up at, like they're adults. It's disgusting. It's cre- well, unless they're real little. Because I hate horrible. kids. It's <laughs> real horrible. Uh, no, my first note was this family is creepy. Is that just them, or am I not used to Finnish people? I think that it's supposed it, the, the creepiness is because of how fake it is. Right, right. And yes, also, yes. did you see like how bright this movie was? How lit everything was? I was like, this was so fucking bright. Part of that is the fakeness. Right, because you, you have to have the lighting for every single shot. But as a creature of the night, it bothered me. I would get sunburned <laughs> from some of those rooms. Yeah, and then I said, this house is not for children. And then the bird flies in the window, starts breaking things. I said, or birds, for that matter. I don't think the bird breaks that much shit. I think them reacting to the bird breaks more shit. They scared the bird more. Yes. And now, when all that stuff started falling off the shelves, did you guys think of immediately of uh, Grandma's little, like, hutch thing that had all the little angel figurines and stuff in it? That I didn't, but which, I am now. Yeah, because I remember pinging off of that thing multiple times as a kid, getting scared <laughs> shitless, Just, like, don't fall. See everything start like, vibrating yeah, a little bit because that was all the thing. Like if you knock that over, like you're you're dead. So um, here's my first attempt at uh, psychology bulls- bullshit. Go for it. So the the mask, the persona that the family as a whole is wearing is that of this perfect unit. Everything is good. We're all smiling. We're all all our clothes are perfect. Everything is neat, orderly. Everything's where it should be. But then the bird comes in and fucks all that up. So the bird would be the shadow, which would be the unconscious mind, their repressed ideas, their weaknesses, instincts, shortcomings, all that stuff. How am I doing? You're doing really good. You wanted to go real hard on this, didn't you, buddy? Yeah. So I I didn't have, I didn't, so I came to the, this is the repressed shadow stuff a little Mm -hmm. bit later. Uh, At that moment, 100%. It's the look at us. We're great. We got all our shit together. And then, I, and then I'm like, oh, the bird. That's reality crashing in on the family. Crashing and in, ha- and they're having to. It's representing the the chaos of what life actually is, and they don't handle it well. Now, this is where I went from. Okay, I don't think I like this family, and I think the mom bothers me. To Tinya, is that how we're pronouncing it? I, I think that's how they pronounced it in the movie too. It captures the bird in a blanket. And the mother's like, bring it here, bring it here. And she just fucking snaps his neck. I'm like, what? You could have taken it back outside. No, but you th- can't th- that's- because the bird is the shadow and you got to hide that shit. You got to yes. bury it deep yes. down. Yes, Daniel. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'll give you that. It's the omen of repressed feelings. And the mom does not allow negativity, sorry, negativity in this family. And it must be destroyed. But oh. then, okay. But then she says... She goes, oh, but make sure you put it in the organic waste. Because, you know, we love nature and shit. Like, Again. put it in the organic yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, she's, you she's just trying to reclaim the bird. that mask. Like, you fucking just kill. Like, no, I know what you're about, lady. I'm fucking done. I'm mask, done. I hope you die. Slipped. The mask slipped when she snapped the neck. But then by uh, doing what I guess everyone would consider a good thing by uh, recycling the bird. Recycling your dead animals. Recycling your dead animal. <laughs> Returning it to earth or turning it to earth putting the sure. mask back on yeah did you guys um how many post did you see the poster of this movie where they're the whole f- it's a poster it's a shot of the family like a family portrait but they're all wearing, wearing the mask like a- wearing like what looks like a court of owls mask yeah the mask that the little brother wears later in the movie later in the film yeah mm-hmm. oh. yeah i've seen that okay I just wanted that to all- know if you'd seen it oh, okay yeah that's a- <laughs> i mean if you wanted another more on the nose that the, this movie is all about like it's persona. It's persona, Dan. Yeah, Daniel's absolutely it's per- right. It's persona. Yeah. Stomp a bird. Stomp a no crap. You snap it. Snap and then you bird. beat it with a rock, though. We do beat. Oh God! A rock. One of my favorite. I. Oh God! <laughs> oh, we'll get to that. Yes. We'll get to that. Oh, so, so good. So good. But also, I don't think there were any cool shirts in this movie, Daniel. So I, I went did ahead. Not write anything down. In so I went ahead and I, I stepped ahead for you here when she takes the bird out in the organic waste. We see over in the neighbor's yard cute dog alert oh cute dog oh yeah i was i'm like nothing bad happens to him oh yeah and then it bites her and i said nips at her yeah Yeah. and i said i immediately screamed don't tell mom she'll snap its fucking neck (laughs) 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 
Oh, and then I believe we come back and we really get to experience the little brother who is might be worse than the mom. He's particular about the the volume of his good night song. Uh huh. Now he has, there's mm. two ways to take that. One is, and I think we can take should take it this way, is even at however old he is, seven, eight, he's a douchebag. He's a big douchebag. He's got serious resting asshole face. Not his fault. Because uh, cause I also get the sense that at this point, because mom is trying to sing him the goodnight song, and she does it, re- she, he tells her to sing it louder, but she keeps the same volume. Right. And it made me think, how often has she actually done this? Because then Tinya comes into the room, does this weird joining of the singing voices, like two singing uh, sorceresses trying to conjure a sleep spell over this little demon. And yes. then that works. <laughs> So what so what I would say is that the boundaries are not really established for separating uh for Tenya saying you're you need to be you need to be a child you're not responsible for taking care of your brother that's what the adults are supposed to do right and in this house that boundary has not been set she is taking on a lot of the mother role in it because I don't think anyone's taking care of the kids really like hey here's food but only when it pertains to like it's got to be on the vlog. Yeah, beyond performative right. stuff, like showing up to record the gymnastics and making sure the kid is wearing good clothes, there's zero parenting happening. There's zero parenting. Because the dad's, dad's just... Fu- dad's fucked off to a closet to play his shitty guitar. <laughs> it many could be ways, a good guitar. In many more know. ways than one, possibly. Yeah. I don't know. At this point, it's when I said that I'm already finished with this family. Nice. Oh. Yeah, nice. I'm here all week, fellas. How'd you... What'd you guys think of that that bird song they were trying to they, the lullaby? It creeped me out. I didn't like it. I, I oh, it was want, so good. I don't want it. I'm not gonna use that on mine. It's like baby bird, no father, no or no mother. It's more pretty when they sing it in their language, but it's like baby bird, you got no dad, you got no mom, <laughs> and I'm like, I'll take care of you. This now it's creepy, but now that I'm saying it out loud, hey, I'm picking up. On that is what's name. happening right now yes. in the movie. Oh yeah, no, it's. She, she's the baby bird, and since the parents suck, she doesn't really have any. Like yeah, the song. Know. Yeah. Well, yeah. So, should we rename our, our podcast to the Lovely Everyday Life podcast? It's a, well, it, it is lovely. Did you just groan? <laughs> <laughs> I rolled my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she puts her hands like near her head, and I'm like, no, I would flinch every time. She, just, she could snap any necks at any time. I'm expecting... Multiple neck snaps from this mom throughout the whole movie. I hate this mom. Neck snaps come in threes. They usually do. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Yep. Also, <laughs> has wallpaper ever been good, guys? Uh, I had glow-in-the-dark, um, uh, like, starry night wallpaper back in the day. That was pretty yeah. good. Yeah. I could like that. I fucking hated this yeah, wallpaper. Pop- popcorn ceilings. Who thinks that looks good? Grandma did. You're looking around your room, but you're not in grandma's house. (laughs) I was trying to remember if this was popcorn or if this was just textured. Uh, This is just textured. This is popcorn here. I hate it. Yeah, it gets everywhere when you accidentally hit it with the ping pong paddle. We got we got to talk about the forest time. We got to talk about where she gets the egg after we've gotten the bird's neck snapped. It goes into the to the the compost bin Uh, cut to nighttime. And she hears it. She hears the bird like crying, right? She hears this, yeah, the, like the screaming sounds yeah. coming from the window. And I thought we we were in a dream. Yes. I mean, we still might have been. Maybe. Uh, like somehow. But she goes outside, and the bird is no longer in the recycle bin. It where should she be had pointed out it. that, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but when she put the bird into the compost, uh, something in the compost moved. Oh, mm, I don't remember that, but it's possible. I was too busy looking, thinking like that compost has got a smell because it was filled and it looked like I yeah, yeah compost. I thought I th- because the lid didn't stay on so tight. I thought some animal was gonna come God by. God damn raccoon! It. Yeah, raccoon. Or does Finland badger? have raccoons? I guess does not. Finland have ra- badgers? Yeah, Do they have crocodiles. They could. They could. You put a little sweater on it; it fit right we, in. We know they have goblins. For sure. I'm not entirely sure that wasn't a goblin egg. Now, that's... Yes. 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 You beautiful yeah. son of a bitch. That's what I'm saying. 
So she hears she hears the bird. It's not in the it's not in the compost bin. It's out in the woods. So we're just gonna go walk out in the woods in the middle of the night. So pretty. Very yep. dark, fairy tale esque woods. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I loved it. Well, I was gonna say the bird sounds pissed though. I ain't gonna walk in. Well, he is mad. Yeah, He's I mad. ain't going in there. So and the woods. Yeah, the bird has I crawled to its nest, which is on the forest floor for some reason. Yeah, somehow it gets back to its nest. How? That's why I'm like, this is this is fairy tale dream. Magic right? burb. Its neck was snapped. It shouldn't be able to do anything. Normal birds with snap necks can't do that. Yeah. Right, right. Maybe, though, there's no, I don't know, natural bird predators in Finland, so they nest on the ground. I, oh, I disagree. There is a there's there is one very specific bird predator, and her name is Tinya. Well, okay. <laughs> she's, a, she's a bird who is a predator. Well, I think he's uh, referencing... I'm talking about the time she, she smashed to, him in, with a rock. <laughs> she tries to uh, put the bird out of its misery by bashing its head in with a rock. She turned it, it into a jelly. It takes Ten a times. lot of hits. Ten whacks. I don't think it required that many. She got it to full jelly. Well, it was still making noise. Yeah. Uh, she didn't like that noise that it was making. You know what? Uh, uh, you, you, she did not like the repressed anger feelings that what it represented and like her mom she just had to kill it just had to kill but what happens she, she smashes it with a head gets a little bit of blood on her shirt uh, what is it with these northern european kids and right crushing animals and i'm like okay so she's so she's dressed in her pure white night nightgown going through the woods and i'm thinking all right let's let's do our literary analysis you got the white you got the purity and then the the redness gets splattered on it, so now we've spoiled the illusion. And now the movie can begin, because what does she find? Egg. <laughs> Egg. Don't worry. <laughs> hey, I'll take care of you, baby. I, I'll i handle it. I'll take care of you. Don't worry that I just smashed your parent into a jelly right next to you. That's fine. You didn't see that. I'm going to take uh, care of you. I got you. And we take Egg. the egg. Egg. I was. I felt so comforted by what you just said. That was really good. <laughs> that was nice. Well, I'm, you know, I'm here nice. all week. I'm working on my <laughs> ASMR video, so. <laughs> okay. That that was already a <laughs> that was already a big egg for that bird. Yes. What? Yeah, oh, that was oh, a size egg the egg. Yeah, okay. Sure, sure, yeah, sure. that was that was a big egg already. Uh, so she takes it and what? She just puts it under her pillow the first night, yep. or is it under the? Yeah, under, under, under her the giant pillow. pink bear. I think. No, I thought that was no. Oh, she had the pink bear, which actually I think I have that same pink bear. Well, it's not mine. It's one of my ch children's. But right, right, right. Sure, it's not yours. Yeah, no, it's not egg. mine. Yeah. We, so we got yeah. an egg now. We got an egg. Like We're eggs. incubating an egg. We're doing that kindergarten yeah. science experiment. Yeah. It's great. It's great. Now we get gymnastics. And now I'm wondering, anytime there's gymnastics in a movie, does Daniel low-key, like, critique them? Like, are you like, hmm? Uh, you could do... If it's women's gymnastics I'm watching, I'm actually, like, jealous of all the cool shit they get to do. You prefer the parallel bars versus the single bar? The uneven bars, yeah. I prefer, yeah, the uneven prefer bars, yeah. Because mm. uh, I would say it's more challenging. It's cool. Yeah. Oh, sure. Like On like that open floor stuff they do? Well, that's a, that's that's the same. Yeah, they, he does open floor stuff, too. It just, he doesn't, it looks oh. funny when he's doing all the pretty moves. Yeah, it, they don't, yeah, the guy's uh, they, one doesn't really look like dancing. Whereas right, they the, have a the, dance routine. The women's routine. one looks more Fluid. They're required to have a certain, well, at least at the time, they were required to have a certain amount of uh, dance moves in, like their, in their routines because of uh, sexism or whatever. But accurate. But you got to do the same thing. You got to ride the mushroom. You got to ride the. Mushroom. <laughs> hey, uh, state nice. champion Palma horse, whatever year that was. So oh, that's hell a, yeah, a little guy. There, there that's, that was been the goal to get this out. Yeah, that's, that's been State the champ. whole that's point. That's been the whole reason podcast. for this pod. Yeah, we're yeah, here. Shut her down. Me, was building up to me just uh, casually dropping that uh, state champ Palma state, horse. State uh, Palma horse champion for whatever. Ride that pony. Whatever year that was. Yeah. So in the gymnastic scene, we kind of start to get the impression though that yeah, the mom is really pushing. Yeah, when Tinja. she's trying to backseat coach. Yeah, which is never good. Parents don't do that. Let the coach coach. But then I'm also like, she's pushing her that hard. She's still not that good. I'm just saying. That's going to cause some issues later. Well, she's not that good. What what that would lead to, from my experience of not being pushed that hard, but uh, like imagining what it would be like to be pushed that hard, would be me not enjoying it because I would feel like I'm not doing it for myself. I'm doing it. And, and I would say this is the same in the movie as well, is that she's not doing gymnastics for herself. 
she's doing it because it would make her mom happy because her mom is living uh, a fantasy through her because her mom was a figure skater figure skater who i'm assuming because there's a big ass scar on her leg that she fucked her leg up super badly and was no longer able to compete so now she has to live vicariously through the kid and that's why she pushes the kid as hard mom sucks also, telling Mom someone sucks. just to keep repeating the same thing over and over doesn't. That's improve. not how it works. That's, That's not, not how you it have works. to. You, you have to, to take, sleep on it. Yeah, exa- you need to take a break. Like, and then you'll you don't... just magically one day just nail it. Exactly. Yeah. It works the I same. Mean, practice. Learning an practice instrument. is important, but like you don't do it to the point where you're like her hands your, were shredded. Your brain, yet yeah, your brain will those nerves do shit yeah. while you're sleeping. You, you, Magic. You do, you do it for yeah. 15 minutes, and then you go do something else, and maybe you come back and do another 15 minutes. You don't keep doing hour-long sessions yeah yeah this mother sucked and the movie wants us to know the mother and father suck because that's their character names is straight up just mother and father these are not sucks i thought i thought you were gonna say like in finnish the translation of their names was suck suck (laughs) it's suck Suck. family sucks what we're the sucks family family. if i was gonna say one thing right now that i i wish they had played a little more with it's that the entire movie they suck there they wasn't suck. any variation in it so at and at like once we get towards like the three-fourths way into the movie and it's the mother is still they're still showing us examples of how the mothers suck at that point yeah. like yeah i got it i know she there sucks. was even opportunities for not sucking i thought the dad was going to step up multiple times in this movie until we get to a certain point with the dad where you realize like oh no <laughs> was it where it, when he was wearing that pink uh, sweater around his shoulders and he had it tied and across and his he was doing chest. the bug spray no and he that was, wearing was that was dope that Is was it dope. the scene at the table where they're discussing uh mommy's where special just friend. casually discussing mommy's casual friend and the dad's just cool yeah with it? the dad's well, like well she's always been a willful person and i've always wanted her to have what she wants yeah i'm like <gasps> yeah okay me, so he, he got to that point when uh he sees the blood in the bed and in his mind he's thinking <laughs> oh yeah. this is this is evil period blood i <laughs> are afraid of this yeah, is I, carry I, shit i will not be involved in this nope i can't do this that's not me i don't i don't think he thought it was we I don't think he thought it was evil necessarily. I I do think well, he it was, was afraid some, of He it. looked at it. Oh, oh, this no, I am not dealing with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is I understand, but this is a youth. I'm gonna take your brother and just shut the door. I'm gonna shut my door on. I'm gonna shut the door on this. But wouldn't this is the you. good parenting thing there to then be to ha- to either get the mom or to just have the talk yourself? Oh, so you're having your period, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, goody. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh, we need to go to the. I don't know why I gave him that accent, but I. Uh, I Destigmatize it. Yeah. We've already had the talk with our oldest, so it, we don't want. Like, can you imagine? We're all. She's look, gonna do I'm paintings a, with look, it. It's all good. Look, he's got. I'm time. not a woman. Okay, so oh. I didn't have to go through this, but I'm. <laughs> but not you a woman. have leaked blood from orifices. I have. This has happened. This is true. Ugh. But <laughs> could you, as as a man, putting yourself in the shoe, growing up? What if one day? blood just started falling out of your genitalia how would you take that if you had no idea what like that was supposed to be a natural thing well first of all i guess the education system has failed me well usually it does <laughs> we are from the my midwest parents have failed me yeah i would say society at large has failed me as it does as that it. would be fucking terrifying i would think i'm dying you would think you're dying after we get some uh, gymnastics training, we find out that Tinya is pretty much secluding herself from the other girls. Um, like one of them offers to hang out with, or if she wants to hang out she with them, she gets invited or walk home. to for a hang to walk home together. Yeah, yeah, but she's like, "Nah, I got a jog. I got, I got a, a jog. I got a jog." And at that point, I'm like, "Oh Jesus!" Yeah. So, but she like she's clearly sad about it, but she feels like she has to live up to her mother's standards. And like, ah, this, so this kid is literally alone she has no allies period yeah and 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 then she comes home i guess a little early or something and she she finds mommy in the handyman and mommy's playing tickly spider up handyman's leg now i would say the handyman character is the only her him and the uh, coach are the only characters who are good who don't suck. right which is so weird because why would he like I, wanna, I thought he was going to be a big douchebag or something. Yeah, no, Taro, his name is Taro, he's fine. Also, this is another part where mom lies, because in that opening video, 
she clearly says the one man in my life referring to father mm. but now i clearly see a second yeah that's <laughs> the only thing he's guilty of is having a bad taste in women Oh my god! Well, he's a he's a yes. widower. Let's talk about Taro. His he's got a he's got a newborn baby ish, and I'm guess did we establish that the that the mother die in childbirth or something? Died during childbirth. The kid is not walking, or it's still uh, it's not even crawling yet. So I'm going like six less than six months somewhere yeah, around it's, there. It's a baby. So so that means his wife it has been dead for less than a year, and he's already. Moving on to another person. Or does he just have a babysitter slam piece? I was going to say, it could be a practical reason. He needs help. Look, he's 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 out there. He needs to work doing his stuff. He needs help watching this baby. He can't go be a handyman with and a baby. And the, the babysitter, yeah. better, babysitter's payment is getting dicked down. Right. And so he has to tolerate her nonsense. Because even when she they go over there later and she's <laughs> trying to fill... All, are you liking all these phrases I'm saying? I don't know what any of these things mean. <laughs> Look, it's his backdoor mama... And uh, so she's what? sitting there taking, <laughs> she's sitting there taking pictures of the food at his house. And he's like, "Well, I don't really want my house in your vlog." And she's like, "Oh, don't worry, you'll be cut out." Da 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 da. So he like he's not even okay with the stuff he, she's doing. Uh, yeah. So for, for Taro, my my, I mean, I guess I could forgive him that his wife, you know, just recently died. But what? It's a bad rebound. Does that? It's a te- yeah. Do you not? I guess he doesn't see what she is until later on in the movie well even if he does like he has he only has had to deal with it on a limited basis would you say that up until the daughter comes over and they have that fucking weird sleepover that all that she was had been showing him her persona of being this perfect person other than obviously cheating on your spouse and whatnot but right and that's what lured him in and oh, possibly sure. tricked him a lot of people do it where they'll depending on who they're with and you know the place they're at they change who they are completely just depending on the situation I mean, yeah that would be you your have persona. to that would be your persona that's literally See, it that's literally you say you have it. to i will change down the flavor of the language okay but my same insanity is always there i don't give a fuck it's gotta be but yeah i obviously i don't drop f-bombs at the you know elementary school in front of the teacher oh i do but i will be like hey your plant over there looks like audrey too <laughs> <laughs> And they go. That's what? where my head's at. Yeah, it's like it's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Suddenly, see more. Yeah. So, mommy has a special friend, and I can't see how this doesn't cause any issues. Nope. Well, not at all. Mommy's like, okay. Sometimes adults have special friends, and I think, oh god, what? No, she does the most terrible thing. Is she tells her to keep it a secret. We gotta keep it a secret. We're both girls. You know how it girls is. See- you know how girls secret. You know how your dad is. And then she starts giving her shit. Yes, yes. Right. Yes. And that's when I'm like, that's when I'm really getting concerned. I'm like, this is way too much psychological damage to this kid. That egg monster is probably all in her head. Sure. Well, that it's, it's this point, then the egg, we start hearing a heartbeat. But before that, you start hearing a clock ticking. Oh. Mm-hmm. And th- this is also when we see her gets that moment with dad, and he's got his new guitar. And I'm like, oh, dad's super cool. He's not. He's not. He's got the guitar. She walks in. He- Right, and we're we're wondering if she's gonna rat her bitch ass out, and she and didn't. Had and I was the dad pissed. taken an interest and in, like just asked her what what are you up to, what's going on? You know, instead of just staring awkwardly at her, right? She probably would have ratted her out, but he took zero interest because he just wants to play his shitty guitar. At this point, he has had to have been beaten down so much in this over the course of this relationship. Like she, pro- what, what probably happened is he probably got her pregnant. Like she, no, oh, I think she got him pregnant. <laughs> well, maybe. No, he. It was probably. I don't think it was a planned pregnancy. I. I think they. Pro- she probably got knocked up. They got stuck together. She killed his will to live. She has beaten him down for years. So all he can do at this point is he just steps back. He hides in his little closet and he just stays out of the way. That's the only way he gets through life. Mm, I don't know. Well, my take is he was probably before this relationship. Uh, uh probably already on his way. You think? I th- I don't I don't th- I don't think he went from a hundred to zero based only on her. I think he was probably already starting at a twenty five. If he doesn't have a job, he can't leave. He's trapped. Yeah, but I, maybe he makes money off. The- Someone there has to make money, and I don't think it's her shitty vlog. It has to be the vlog. It has to no, be. What if he makes music? You see all those guitars? He doesn't. Did you see him? <laughs> <laughs> Does he look like a musician? 
He's kind of, he, well, okay, I'm not going to. The way they have dressed this character, the way they have given. No, 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 st- no, no, no. This is the way she has dressed this character. Yes, that's, yes, that's yes, yes. That's a good point. That's a good point, yeah. Uh, yeah, he probably has some, like, sick-ass, like, winger t-shirts or something. I don't he know. He probably had cool-ass shirts that I wasn't allowed to see. He was probably in college, <laughs> and he was in a band, and he was, like, you know, he was kind of a loser, but also kind of cool. And she probably cool. pressured him to drop the band thing because it was never going to work out. Well, because it's not part of their picture-perfect family mm, thing. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I like this me. extended lore we're creating. This de- th- You don't wake up as this father. Now, I'm like, going to go a little you, you further. You get built into it. And go ahead and say that this was an arranged marriage. Do they do that up there? Let me finish, you son of a bitch. <laughs> ah, I get it. An arranged goblin marriage. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, <sighs> were there any crocs at their wedding <laughs> might have been might have been didn't get to look, see it <laughs> look tenya comes into this room he's got the guitar and the only thing he wants to talk to her about is their mother well that's yeah because that's the only thing that's what this entire family it revolves around her revolves it's, around the mom. she is the yeah. center of the universe because she has forced it and now that egg is swole <laughs> it's a the egg is getting bigger which is weird because eggs don't do that eggs usually don't do that and this is what shows the bigger egg she shoves inside the bear. Puts it right where its heart should be. And then we start getting some uh, Rita... Uh, the neighbor girl? Yeah, some Rita jealousy. We find out, yeah, she's also in the gymnastics thing. And they're, they're competing. There's one spot for the competition team. And Rita's cl- clearly better. But she's so nice about it and everything. And I thought the mom was just going to fucking break her neck like she did with the bird. Because the mother is not happy. So w- let's come back to this thought. Uh, when it act, when something actually happens to Rita, because I had something very similar, and I thought something else had happened. Thought she was gonna get hit by a car. I thought. Well, that's I, yeah. I thought she had been. I thought um, when in in that scene when Tinya is like having the vision of what is now the bird, like stalking Rita, and eventually attacks her somehow. I thought this was just her way of processing the fact that her mom. And it already happened. Her down with a car. Oh, yeah. Right. Right. That's interesting. No, that's that's exactly where I went with that as well because it's like at that point I still didn't think the bird creature was its own separate thing. I thought it was still her acting it out in some way. Yeah. Shape, or form. I was in. I was in. This is a. Uh, this is psycho. This is high tension. That's what is happening right now. Right. And they clearly set it up to think that we, she was running down a road. We were driving down a road. Like they wanted us to think that somehow we were involved in this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can we talk about how mom sucks? Because like, oh, I hate I, her. I, oh my talk, god. Are we to uh, mother we're, daughter we're, uh, sleep over time? We're almost there. We're we're, we're going to go to the. We're going to skip ahead a little bit and just talk about the next scene where she's talking to her about tarot and is telling her that tarot is the best thing best that has thing. ever happened to her. And the first <laughs> time she feels she's like ever really loved someone. She, no, and, she, I wrote I wrote it yeah. down like straight up. She said. He she he is the best thing to ever happen. That is literally what she said. And you watch Tinya's expression. She's got the fake smile, but as this is going on, she can't hold it, and it just melts into a what the fuck. Uh huh. I'm like, oh god. She's got a. The mom has a fatal case of good dick disease. Hey, look. <laughs> is, now, did we? Uh, it's fatal. <laughs> have we told the dad yet? Now, or has the dad been like? That's coming. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because now I got my next note is. It's hatching. Like, so is it hatching well, well, while the egg this has, conversation? The egg had, no. The egg, at this point, we go back, check on the egg, and it is like a full toddler size now. Yeah, yeah, it's Like, big. it's going to birth it's, a dinosaur. Right. Ooh. And uh, Tinya's crying into a, it. A, a dragon donkey? Perhaps a dragon donkey. Perhaps. I mean, if you will. And then the tears are hitting the egg, and then now, you're right, is when it starts hatching, and we get what I describe as like the, the Jim Henson bird puppet that yeah. you know, sad bird puppet it looks so sad yeah also i want you guys to know i suspected it might hatch <laughs> whoa that's like premonition right there i yeah, hope I don't you know. wrote that down i bet this Dude, egg hatches I, what, I, what I, is Dan, what did daniel call it? like schrodinger's scrotum if you show an egg <laughs> it has to hatch yeah no i did i did i wrote down straight up it's hatching i suspected it might <laughs> give it to me <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I should I should post my show notes. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> yeah, um so what? It hatches and it's this weird bony ass 
baby bird thing. I'm sure most people know baby birds are not pretty at first. What do you remember the name? So it's the um, Dark Crystal. Gonna, yeah, I, was, I knew the, you were gonna fucking the, reference the, the Dark Crystal. Oh, is uh, that what it has? Uh, Skirksies. We watched this recently too. Okay. Well, it looks. I I was getting uh, the Jim Henson puppet vibes to that, and I'm like, that's wait, good. wait, 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 wait. That's, Hold up. Break. This is breaking news. Skeksis. 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 Yeah. Yeah, the Skeksis. I don't know. This isn't a Dark Crystal pod. It could be. It could, <laughs> it could be. be. That movie's got some I moments. haven't seen it. The TV show is good, too. I haven't seen that either. Eh. Anyway, a bird's a Skeksy. I didn't go to college. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a woman. And so it jumps out the window, but then it comes back. And this is when I notice for the first time, like, my jaw is just hanging open for this whole scene because it's come back and it's got the bl- it's got the glass shards yeah, yeah, in its yeah. arm mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh-huh. and so Tenya helps taking it out but we're just yeah. watching her do this to this pup this b- gorgeous puppet and then it's like it's time to give the bird a bath mm-hmm. and my mouth was just open the entire time to- I was happy is my how I could describe it. just I was so happy this was happening yes and I'm I'm still I I want to I don't want it to be on her head um sure. So this is where I thought, okay, this is all still in her head, though, isn't it? And I said, she is the one who emerged, you know, her her push down, like, fighting back, you know, persona inside has come to the forefront now. The bird is out, the the kid ready to do some fucking damage is done. And in the next movie, she's going to unfight, she's going to fight Bruce Willis from Unbreakable. Okay. As like yeah. a bird I'm going to take lady. half of <laughs> your point, the non-dumb half, I'm going to take the non-dumb half of the point you just made. And expand upon it by saying, yes, she has just come out, but then she immediately buries that shit back down by making it sleep under the bed. Put it no, under the is bed. Is it under the bed at first, or is it in the wardrobe? It's under, under the, the bed, bed first. Okay, because wardrobes creep me out more than closets. Just well, putting that on record. Sounds like this movie has, give, has, has given you everything you wanted. I need to know it's real. Okay, we'll talk about it when we get there. Daniel, there was a dog in this movie. What happened to that dog? Well, the dog is making noise when she's trying to sleep. Yeah, you know, we've is, all been there. Well, we've all been there. So Burb comes out from under bed and fucking tears the head off of that dog and brings it back to bed. It's a gift. Yeah. It's a gift. This bird is so cute, though, because it d- brings back cute gifts like that. And you forgot to point out, it pulls a Daniel and it blows bubbles in the bathwater. That's true. It does. It does. <laughs> Because that is her innocence, because she's ha- she's having fun. Yeah, which she's and then not she had allowed to do no fun, no fun. And um, so at, at at this point, I'm like, okay, I think this is. I think Tinya just murdered a dog. Right, she broke out. She killed that. This dog. is. I'm like, this is. This is now. A, this is a tale of two sisters. This is what is happening. Well, I, I mean, uh, that's a little on the a, nose for later. I have a shitty confession to make about that movie. I haven't seen. You haven't seen a lot of things. <gasps> okay, so. I'm going to forgive you for not having seen... But I know it. Does that make um, sense? April Fool's. April Fool's Day. Mm-hmm. But That's A Tale a of movie. Two Sisters... I know. It's something we're gonna, we should probably I know. watch. I know. It's even right in my wheelhouse. Korean shit, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know what else is in my wheelhouse? Oh, for Korean shit? Are you going to talk about Tinya throwing up? <laughs> <laughs> I should. No. Um, okay, first off, how do you think we're doing the creature? Is that a suit? Or green screen, like green suit. I think it's probably a suit enhanced with digital. So we I think, think that's a guy in a. I I want. I'm hoping it is a physical puppet that is actually interacting in the scene. Okay, because I was thinking maybe that's just a person in a green screen suit, and then I think that weirds me out because then we got this little girl giving it a bath. <laughs> right. So that's why I think there's like there's rods, there's pulleys. <laughs> Okay, um, just making sure because if she's given if she's given a bath to an old dude, I'm not okay. I'm out. <laughs> well, I don't know why it's an old dude, but in my mind, she was giving a sponge bath to an old guy in a green suit, and he probably wasn't wearing pants because he didn't want to get him wet. <sighs> Cut this. <laughs> Cut this. <laughs> Look, these are the notes. Okay, I can't help but the notes are the notes. Twenty That's right around one oh five forty six. I would probably K- say. Kenny starts confession time. And we <laughs> can't. I've got another <laughs> confession to make. Um, uh, that dog did die. That dig did die. T- uh, Tinya d- sees d- it, dig, dig. Yeah. throws up, and I'm like, well, that's, oh. And then the bird it, starts gulp, eating it. I'm like, gulp, gulp. 
Well, that's Glo- something I don't you, see every day. You hear it though that they yeah, did you, it perfect. You yeah, hear yeah. it, and you if you if you're quick and you know baby birds, you already know what's happening before it gets over there. Yeah, and yeah. That was, that was a perfect moment mm-hmm. in this movie. I fucking love that. I am digging the logic of this movie. Yes, that was beautiful. Um, but now, but now we get to the point where uh, I guess brother saw some. Brother saw she uh, buries the dog in yes. the good towel. Okay, that looks like a good towel. And the brother sees her do it because he's a creepy perv. Always. Why watching. is why is the brother always outside of his fucking room? He's always hold, hold, fucking hold there. Have you ever? Did we? Do we ever see his room? Does he have a room? He has a hallway. He sleeps yeah, in the hallway. hallway. We saw the room at the beginning of the movie Did when we? Mommy and oh, Tanya were right, singing him the right. bed, the creepy oh, bedtime yeah. song. Right. Baby but bird, little bird. Did his room bird. have a door? <laughs> that if even if it doesn't, he could still stay in there. Because he doesn't know boundaries. Because he tries to go in the bathroom when she's in there. He needs to he pee. He doesn't know boundaries. You telling me a house like that doesn't have another bathroom? It does, but he's he's a jerk. Yeah, he could just go pee outside. So. uh... Because of that, he try he uh, brother grabs dad to come to Tinya's room and try to confront her about what she buried. But then dad sees a couple drops of blood on the bed. On the bed. And well, oh, I guess we should say that when dad comes in, Tinya and the bird are both under the bed. But only Tinya is you can only visible. see Tinya is yeah. visible. Which bothered me. And she's like, "What that... are you doing under the bed?" But then he sees the blood on the sheets, and then he goes. To, Oh. Oh, you had your I, period. I understand. He doesn't say that. No, no he, he doesn't say it, but... Oh, I see, I see. You you can see the wheels turning in his head. Yeah, and it makes sense. If you have your period, you get under the bed, because it's shameful. That's, that's, I mean, yeah. That's what my wife does, I don't know. <laughs> I assume she lives under the bed. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's nice down there. The crumbs that fall down, that's her food. <laughs> <laughs> Creepy crawling. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, the father panicking about the period, a uh, potential period, was hilarious, but also horrible. Okay, but then we get a great scene, because mom comes back. Oh, I guess we, we should have mentioned that she went off on a, she says she went away on some to kind a, of... Uh, to a conference? A vlogging conference, a blo- yeah. And, and, okay, when I first heard that, I went, that is the dumbest fucking thing I have ever heard. But then I'm like, well, wait, if you're making this the way you're actually making money... Maybe you would go to one of these things to learn how to uh, expand your viewership and you know sure, stuff sure, we sure, probably sure. should like be doing. Like a marketing, like a marketing. Yes, <laughs> right. And I still, lo- I still love how you guys assume she's making money on it, and it sucks to me that I think that you're probably right. But who, th- I, who's watching this? Same people who are the beautiful people who are listening to us. No, we have oh better people, and they're not. Our, <laughs> our people are no, they're very beautiful. You're all very beautiful. So she, but when she comes back, she's brought a gift uh, for Tinya. Did not bring a gift for her baby boy. Anyone else? Or and anyone I, yeah, else? I said he is not gonna like getting nothing. Yeah, uh, baby boy did not like that very much. So what does he do? <laughs> he goes out. He fucking digs up the dog <laughs> and he brings it back in. Oh god! Oh, and sense. then he's like, "Yeah, she killed it. She killed it." And then they're still fighting. And then he comes over there. And, like, shoves her, which she's bigger than him, but she still flops down. And I didn't like that, because I'm like, no, nah, she's got more mass. And then I'm like, you need to kill the little one now. And then I made fun of his cankles, because it looks like he has cankles. <laughs> but then, when she's getting pushed down, the bird reacts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got a stir. So that's when I said, oh, shit. Yeah, oh, shit. It's like the movie Colossal with Anne Hathaway, where she's she is mm. directly controlling the kaiju on accident, kind of. Okay. I don't want to go too much into that movie. So then the family, like, we're, they don't tell the neighbor that the, the dog's dead. They just go, they bury that back. Like, that's, they're like, oh, that happened. But we go back up to the room, though, right? So brother brother goes upstairs. I think they tell the brother to go upstairs as they're talking to Tinya or something, or d- trying to figure out what they're going to do with dead dog on the counter. It wasn't me. Um, <laughs> but, but when brother goes upstairs, that's when a shadow, he sees a shadow move in Tinya's room. Uh-huh. And so we have... Shadow in Tinya's room, but we know Tinya is downstairs. Mm-hmm. Right. And so this is where, for you, Kenny, you can say they're, they're starting to say there is absolutely something physical in the house, unless the brother seeing it is also just part of Tinya in Tinya's mind. Right. I, 
that's where I was still at. Before he sees it, has he put the mask on yet? Or does he put the mask on after he sees it? I think No, it's he after? puts the mask on. No, he puts the mask on and he peeks under the bed or something. Yeah. But it's not there anymore. Because uh, it's doing it's doing a Spider Man thing in the in the wardrobe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because it's 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 up on the the roof, the ceiling of the of the wardrobe. Because when they open it, they're like, "Oh, where is it?" And it's like it's just hiding up there. Sneaky yeah, Spider-Man at some, bird. At some point, it like, oh, at some point, it it um, does a little swipe and it cuts his mask in half, and the mask falls away. Oh yeah, it does that while, when it peeks at him under the bed, and then mm. he freaks then it, out. Then, then it then hides. It then it hides. Yes. So so that's uh that's the um I, my, I thought that's reality. Just all these masks you people are wearing. Uh-huh. Nah, fuck that shit cut it right off yeah, gone gone but i still wasn't convinced it was two separate things just because i wasn't either do that and they'll they'll pull back and be like now nah, this is what actually happened I'm like mm, i yeah. hate you so but tenya has a seizure or f- is flopping around on the ground and the uh the bird stops it's um we'll call it predatory behavior yeah yeah but then and then we hear tenya say uh you you cannot do that and her mom says who are you talking to and tenya says myself yeah. Like, okay. Okay. I. I'm. I'm like. Mm, oh boy. I'm like. And that's when my head. I'm like. Oh my goodness. This is all about the shadow. Okay. I got it. Mm-hmm. And I said Birdman did nothing wrong. That kid's an asshole. But um, at this point, we also there was a there was a scene though where um, Tinja went and picked up some bird seed. Yes. This is after her Sarah Connor workout. Yeah, and she comes back with the bird seed and. The bird's in the wardrobe, and See, she takes half. a normal half- person would just give the bird the bird seed. It's a baby, she tried. Daniel. She tried, It I is think. not yeah, a she baby. Did. she did. No, it's a baby. It's just a big it's a baby. baby. It's just a real big baby. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't eat it. That's right. So she fucking starts scarfing it down, going hard, and then just... Bleh. Yeah. And then the bird... <laughs> he fucking loves it. He loves he fucking, it. I was like, it's like, you're a great chef. But at that point, you see, though, the bird is starting to, the feathers are starting to molt, starting to fall off, and we're starting to see some hair. Yeah. Grow. We're starting to see teeth. And teeth, yes. It's very, it's, 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 it's great. It's, it's, I, um, it's beautiful. Now, the second time when she feeds this bird, I had something happen to me in like a snap, snap of a second. I had two thoughts that it takes me longer to explain them than how they occurred to me. The first one was, oh, okay, you're being a mommy bird. You're throwing up. You're feeding it. Oh, that's great. And then, oh shit, bulimia. I thought bulimia yes. as well. Yeah. Uh, I also I'm went like, down that oh, line because we seen how. Oh no. Yeah. That's because if this is all if this is all happening in her head, which is what I thought was happening, then I'm like, oh no, you're just you're you've come up with a justification for doing this. The bulimia angle even comes further into play when when she's at the fuck pad, uh, behind the shut door, and the boyfriend Taro? is trying to yes. get in there. Yeah. Oh and yeah, all that's he, all he hears is just her throwing up. Yeah, so from his perspective, depending on how you want to view this movie, yeah, is I mean you can, you can I mean it's there. I it, I think absolutely they intended us to be able to make this interpretation. I mean, because we literally see her spine earlier when she's like bending and stuff. Like she is, she appears underweight, but also I mean, it's a ten-year-old girl. A lot of them don't put on any mass until then as well. So I don't want to necessarily say she's underweight but from the way her mom is pushing her with all that stuff and being the perfect family it wouldn't be a shock at all to believe that this 10 year old is having body image oh, issues 100%. and yeah so that's yeah no I, I yeah i went there too yeah but it's okay because she put clothes on the bird and made it even more creepy nope nope i didn't like that i don't <laughs> like it crawling around with people clothes not good at all and I'm no <laughs> no no, you're okay. You're okay the with the teeth. Boy, you're okay with the hair. I'm okay. But clothes? Don't you put any fucking daisies on that bird? No, you, there was fucking clothes on it, and it's crawling around the room like fucking Gollum, and I didn't yep. like it. I was like, nope, I'm uncomfortable. No, and then I think this is again when the little brother was out of his room, and I'm like, why is this asshole always out of his room? He's always out of his room. But bird goes and uh, spends some time with mommy. It slimes on her. Ugh. Yeah. Would Would you say that? Putting clothes on the bird, her accepting her shadow as part of herself because it's her clothes. Yes, right. It's uh, yes. I think it's. I think it's the first step. The first step. Of, I think we're at the very first yeah. step of if yeah. you if Indi- you want to get into it. Individuation is that right? Uh, of trying to like um, combine all your aspects. Recognizing of that you yeah. have you know these urges that you have these 
uh, jealousies, you know, all the bad things that you've pushed under. Yeah. Representing, instead of saying that's something separate, projecting it onto other people, right? Into uh-huh. a separate entity going, no, this is a part of me. Right. You're opening yourself up. You're not, yeah. you're no longer repressing everything you're, or suppressing everyone. You're starting not, to let it in. Uh, I did not go to college. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I can tell because you've never take a looked shot. like take a shot. <laughs> take a we, shot. We can, we can tell because if you had gone to college, you would know that when you go spray your bushes with pesticides, you got to have that sick tied sweater over <laughs> I you. I think okay. that was a good look. Look, that was a great look in the shorts, and he's and he's got the classic bug sprayer like little like handheld but pump it's thing. It's also a fake as hell look. No one no, dresses that's, like that. I want to. Oh, oh. Well, you do you. It's going to be great. I'm going to go. You guys need me to spray your bush? Hell yeah. You can get all up in my brain. <laughs> man, you know. Sure. One of the most sweetest things in this movie is she, so she, she, uh, she, the bird has, the bird has clothes on. <laughs> Don't like all that. Right? And Tinya is, is brushing the bird's hair and she's putting like the pink bow on it. Now that's, there's a, that's like self care. Yeah. And there's self-care. a mirror. There's a mirror in there. And the bird, I guess, captures a glimpse of what it looks like. And then it looks down. She's and like, then, oh no, you're beautiful. Yeah, she she grabs it, gently grabs its beak, pulls it up to the mirror, and says, "No, no, you're beautiful." Yeah, and I'm like, look, it's her daily my, heart, my heart just melted. Oh, God. yeah, you are beautiful. And I'm like, yeah. oh. Brian, we need to show this movie to our daughters. This movie, um, I'm, I'm trying to think if I no, the puppet would have terrified her, so I probably did. <laughs> it terrified me. <laughs> yeah, I uh, might have to wait a couple, uh, maybe a year. Let, let me try oh. Evil Dead. Two first Let's or see army of darkness that. or army of dark army of darkness yeah would you have them watch uh carrie to prepare for their period that's standard <laughs> isn't it i think they do that at school actually yeah they should this is yeah, what yeah, you yeah. expect at prom <laughs> uh, they, they oh uh they show that they show that and they show the elevator scene from the shining with all uh-huh. the blood just gushing uh-huh. out into the hallway uh-huh. Uh-huh. i think yeah. that's standard that's standard it was in my time i don't know yeah it's, it's accurate why yeah. would you watch that <laughs> You never oh, know. Very progressive. You wanted to know what was happening with both <laughs> both sides. You know. Yeah, we used to be allowed to have education in our day. <laughs> don't worry about it. Hot take. Oh don't gosh. Worry about it. So this is You're again. Beautiful. We go. We go back to the gym. The gymnastics things, and we see it's you know the mother comes up to uh, uh, what's her name Rita. It's like, oh, are you interested in competing too? After Rita nails the floor routine without the helper. Yeah. No spotter. Yeah. At no spotter and Tenya like needs the spotter but the, before well, the mother does that she's having fun she didn't need the spotter though the spotter didn't do anything I thought she just like playfully fell back into her arms but that was unnecessary uh, like, maybe she so wouldn't, she wouldn't have done that if the spotter hadn't been there the spotter is a mental thing for her because she's un- what's the word I don't know the word move on move on but the mother clearly is now a human safety net is that what you're tr- going for a human for? safety net yeah a trust but she doesn't need it she, doesn't, need she it. didn't need it let me no, repeat what you fine. said. She doesn't need it. She doesn't, she doesn't need, need it. it. She had a so, fucking. Hey, listen, so the person Pena, represents. You don't need it. A safety net, but she doesn't need it. Yeah, I'll catch you but if you she fall. She thinks she needs it. Yeah, because her mother tells her she's shit. Kenny, you say mommy's having fun. What? No, uh, no, 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 not. What mommy. are you referencing? Oh, because I no, think no, mommy I is having saying, some fun. I was saying Tenya was having fun with Rita. Like she didn't. There's no competition. Like she doesn't care if Rita's better. She just likes Rita because Rita's nice to her. So when Rita falls, when Tenya falls back into Rita's arm because Rita's a spotter, it's she's playful. happy. That's yeah, yeah. She sure. like that's one of the few times we see Tenya have just like no care in the world. I'm just having fun. That's fine. And her mom immediately has to come over and kill it after Rita nails her thing. Uh, she comes over. The mother comes over and it's like, oh, you want to be in the competition too? And she's like, oh, if I'm good enough. Well, mom knows Rita's better than Tenya. So practice is over, and this is when mother really goes hard. On Tenya forcing her to like stay after the session and keep fucking like do it again, do it again. Sure, I I say mommy was having fun because when that happens, she goes over to Rita and starts playing mind games and saying, "Oh, did you find your dog and, yet? Yeah, oh, yes. yeah, yeah." You I'm like, piece you of shit, <laughs> piece of garbage. And I almost thought she was actually gonna spill it. Like, oh well, Tenya killed it. I don't think she's fucking <laughs> with Rita. I. Th- I think she's fucking with Tinya. Oh yeah, no, it's because now, now because she because mother has a secret of Tinya's. Yeah, so you fucking nail this fucking routine, 
Or I'm going to tell everyone you're a little doggy murderer. Which is so bold of her because she wants her to keep her tarot secret. We, we can have it both ways. She's getting in the head of her daughter being like, we have this secret. I need you to practice more. And she's also trying to un- undermine the uh, the mind game of Rita by saying, oh, your, your precious dog? Oh, it's still missing, is it? Oh, terrible. Terrible about that, isn't it? It'd be a shame if it was buried in my backyard under some daisies. Oh, God. And Daddy pats it down with his foot in that one scene while he's talking to the neighbor. Oh, yeah. So That's beautiful. Yeah. <sighs> and now Rita walks home alone, and this is where we can talk. Mm, what? Who really took out Rita? I still, so I would say Rita took herself out. You don't walk in the middle of the street. You don't walk in the middle of the street. Why not? What do you mean, why not? Why not? Don't even worry about That's it. That's where they cars have... belong. You get on the side of the road. It's scary next to those woods. That is true. I mean, every, everything looked well lit. Plus, she was walking earlier, and some like other kid came running out of the woods from the side, and then she like Spider-Man leaped and barely got clipped by a car and spun <laughs> out. And then... You know, there's a paper airplane. It's a whole thing. Police crocodile. came. There's a crocodile. No, the I mean, police they, didn't they, come. They looked and they went, mm-hmm. and then they, <laughs> they went put away. Some tape. Yeah. How do you think the police investigation into what the fuck happened to her went? <laughs> I think uh, for this movie, I'm more willing to say this is fairy tale. Sure. They understand shit like that happens there. They they see that crime like, oh, this is a fairy tale. We classic classic bird creature. I'm guessing. So the it still had the beak at this point, right? Yes. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, so I don't know. So obviously, Tenya likes Rita, but is she blaming Rita for being better than her because her mother is punishing her for not being as good as Rita? Blaming? I wouldn't say blaming, but I'd say jealous. Just pure jealousy. But, but she, what? I, the, but it's like, is it her? It's the she mom's just tra- jealousy. It's the mom's jealousy. She herself. But there's this thing that happens if you screw up your kids where you can make them think. The thing you want is the thing they want. Oh, that's the thing you do? Uh, oh, yeah, all the time. That's, uh, that's, uh... You fucking want to doc- give me that Snickers bar, you little shit? Give me. <laughs> yeah. You feel good giving it to me, don't you? <laughs> I don't want this, but I'm your father and I have to take it. Yes, I will eat it right now. If, if, does that make you happy? <laughs> and so the... And, and it could also be just the the pressure that her mom is putting on her because there's only one slot available for in the competition at this point. It's between right. her and Rita. And the pressure her mom is putting on her is uh, that anxiety. And if, if, if it's not jealousy and not um, like intentional harm, it's the anxiety of having to get that spot. That is what motivates the bird to go. See, take I her like out. that. I like that. I can bite on that completely because I don't think I don't think Tanya's malicious in like a, I don't think she's jealous of anyone. Uh, yeah. No, but I like the anxiety just causing like the bird, the birds there to make her happy. The birds there to solve her problems. She's anxious. OK, I'm going to go do this because when Tanya finds out about it, she's not happy about it. She's she's, distraught. No, she's not. She's distraught. Yeah. So I like that. No, good take. You did it. You, you son of a bitch. You did it. Well, I mean, the bird bird could have done bird could have done less to make her uh, not competition. Bird could have taken out a toe and that would have done it. Possibly. What do we want from this movie? Do we want it to be that there w- the physical bird came and took out Rita, or do we want it to be mommy hit Rita with the car, and this is how Tinya is just trying to psychologically process that? S- saying it, saying it now, that's what I would have preferred. Is the mom did it? Look, if I wasn't so gung ho and actually having the bird, I would creature, prefer if there was no bird creature. But I would still change the. I don't. I'm not in love with the ending. And what we did with the bird creature. Yeah. It's not okay. It's not exactly what I wanted. So if we weren't going to end it how exactly I wanted, if this was going to be purely in her head, then I love the take that mommy hit her with the fucking car. Yeah. And this is how Tenya is restructuring everything. Like, I do like that. This kind of takes me like, it, it pulls me back. Like, I want to rewatch um, Pan's Labyrinth. You, sure. Yeah. I was having a lot of those thoughts too. A lot of Pan's Labyrinth. Because, I mean, is oh. it all in her head? I thought you were going to say, I want to watch um, uh, replay videos of Tanya Harding, Nancy Kerrig, and uh, skating, skate-offs. That's, I, that's in my notes. <laughs> because I'm like, is it? <laughs> I'm Hold like, on. oh my God. Okay. Yeah, right there. Is this where we find out that, that, no, I said, is this where we find out that her name is Tanya Harding? <laughs> Tanya Harding. So back in the day, 
uh, when we were growing up, uh, the uh, there was some. This is during the Olympics, right? Or before, right before yeah, the Olympics? Yeah, uh, they made a movie, I think, about it. True. Nancy Kerrigan, figure skater, she was going to go to the Olympics, and the runner-up, I believe, was Tanya Harding. And Tanya Harding's, I think at the time, ex-husband or, or, um, really, really wanted Tanya to, to uh, go to those Olympics. So he took, a, I think it was a crowbar, and uh, bashed uh, Nancy's legs a couple times so she couldn't compete. And I'm like, ah, oh, damn, that's what just happened. That's competition. <sighs> that's the that's the stress and anxiety that. And you got you got to think though, like with what happened, like we see the scar on mother's leg, like maybe she was a victim of that, <gasps> and she's like, nope. Next time, I do it. Next time, I'm gonna do it with this four wheel drive. Yeah, mm. I'm, I'm glad we both had the Tanya Harding thoughts. Okay, now we get the talk of we're gonna go stay at Taro's house. <laughs> yeah, like dad, like like dad knows this is the part where dad's like. Yeah, your mother's always been very willful, and I always wanted her to have what she wants. And I'm just like, okay, yeah, Dad's checked out. Dad's Dad also says um, he's a he's a good man, and then he changes it and says a person. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you guys are more up with what's up. What? <laughs> no, there's nothing there. That's just him okay. trying to basically say like, oh no, it's not another man replacing me. He's just a person. Like that's the little bit of fight he's willing to give in this whole thing. And at this point, I'm just like, man, I really hope this mother dies horribly. Man, just let 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 me bring my daughter with me to my fuck pad <sighs> so she can listen to me fuck. Yeah, and that house looked haunted as fuck, by the way. Oh, I like yes, that house. Kenny, yeah. Written down, creepy tarot house. Yeah, haunted as fuck. I mean, fuck. he's working on it. He's working yeah, on very it. Very good. I would look, yo, you, look at the handyman's house before you hire the handyman, right? I wouldn't hire that handyman. Well, you're just looking at it now. Before, it was just a bunch of rubble. It wasn't even a house before. It wasn't oh, even a that's house. true. It was, a, it was one tree. <laughs> one, one big tree. <laughs> After we got in there and got established would have been there, it was, I was laughing. I was like, wait, he already has a baby there. And I was like, oh, shit. Did she die in an incident? Is he an anti-poacher on the side? <laughs> <laughs> There's no way the mother could resist. That's not even fair, really. So I'm okay with the mother now. How could she resist? I mean, uh... And then, yeah, thanks for bringing me, Mom, so I can hear you and... You fuck Taro. Yeah. Also, Taro's messy. Taro's messy, but Taro's great. I love Taro. I really started liking him when he started throwing the food. Yeah. He's like, yeah. yeah. What's this? Oh, it gets on there? Oh, what happens now? Oh, Doesn't fucking food. matter. Yeah, it's like, he's you like, can make a mess. He and the baby are like, know? let's show Tinya how we eat. Uh, throw some more food. Uh, uh, yeah, like, and he's showing this. It's the first time she's got an adult to tell her, like, it doesn't have to be perfect. And he does it again later when she's trying to practice, like, something in front of him some yeah with a yeah oh, outside, a cartwheel yeah. An, air, an air an aerial cartwheel sure and she couldn't land it and she's like beating herself up he's like you don't have to do it now like it's okay you watch me i'll fuck it up yeah all the time yeah yeah so i like that's where i'm like man i actually kind of like tarot i also have a note here i don't know what it was pertaining to maybe you guys can tell me around this area it just says bad goblin because i started referring through the creature as a goblin bad goblin. so it showed up at the house okay well Yes, but before we do this, we should. There is the scene where Tenya and her mom find out that Rita has had an accident, mm. and we yes. and uh, and Tenya, I, mom brings Tenya to the hospital. Uh huh. To see Rita, we saw what and Rita has lost a hand. Yep, like Rita's absolutely, fucked up. and just been fucked up. And uh, I don't know. My my thought was I'm flash having flashbacks to the innocence because. Uh, Rita is just in the room all by herself. No family. No, no doctors. One else, no doctors. However, I was more, I'm like, no, fairy tale. This is fairy tale. So it's not about them. I can handle it. But no, nothing at all. And then, and then uh, Tenya starts slapping her own face saying, why did you do that? Yeah. But then the bird's hurting itself. Like it's hurting yes. the bird. It hurts the right. bird. Yeah. So it's like, okay, they are interconnected. We, we can say psychic link or we can say it's all in her head all in her head and that's i do like that the movie played with us for a long time on it i still think the full reveal should have been later but yeah no i liked it and i think that's when we she comes back and she yells at it that's why i typed bad goblin there because she's like why did you do that why did you do that i you know i didn't want that bad goblin she she doesn't say bad goblin but she <laughs> wanted to <laughs> in a more in a more literal translation it would have been bad goblin bad goblin yeah also Taro rocks those fucking suspenders. I need oh, yeah. to commit to suspenders life. Like, you guys want to get in with... He's hot as hell. Dude, Taro's a stud, and he's so nice. I don't know what he sees in Psycho Lady. 
I, I think once he starts, well, once he has her at the house and she starts doing the videos of the food and parts yeah. of the house, in my head, I'm going, dude, I know you're like a widower, you're a widower, and it's been like six months, but how you are going to be seeing how fake and narcissistic she is, right? And you're going to have to see how she has influenced Tinya and then look at your own baby and go, oh, fuck no. Yeah, I ain't right? about that. I'm like, no. right, Taro? Be my hero, Tiro. Come on, man. Come on, Taro. Come on, Come Taro. On, Taro. Uh, and then, um, yeah, the house scene, Taro is trying to get into the room with Tinya, but the bird yes. is in the room, and she's shutting the door, and his hand gets caught in there, and uh, she is yes. pulling with all her might to to keep, or pushing with all her might to keep him from getting in there, and it's damaging the shit out of his hand. First off, that shouldn't have been that big of a struggle. He has a lot of weight on her. Unless there's another... Unless there's another thing helping, yeah. yeah. But I don't remember if the bird was helping. I thought that was going to be the moment that Tara's like, okay, maybe I am done with this kid. But even then... At this point, the bird has been continuing to change. Molting. Molting. Yes. And at, at, this, at this scene, the bird is no longer the bird. The bird is right. looking a lo- almost like a complete copy of Tinya. Right, the beak has fallen off. We have, like, shredded, like, lower part of the face where the jaw and stuff is exposed. Like, that hasn't closed up yet. There's still, like, a big open hole from where the beak was. And it's, it's fucking creepy. It's, it's creepy. And Tinya, Tinya did her mommy bird thing of throwing up into a bowl, which I think he heard. He heard Yeah, that. that's what it and was. And that's why he, wanted to, he heard the dry, the dry heaving to help uh-huh, it, to uh-huh. get it up, right? And then the bird's eating, and then he tries to come in. Because he then thinks in my head, I'm like, well. Well, uh, I, well... Daddy Ryan says he thinks, oh, she's throwing up to keep herself thin because of Molly. Yep. But yep. And he, right, and right. I think he I think he comes to that conclusion because like at some point he's, he says to her mom, you know, we we got to talk. Yeah. And she just ignores him because what? We have the competition, right? Got to go to that competition, bro. Yeah. Because, you know, hey, congratulations. Tanya did it. She filled that last slot. She she got there. And what is. She, yeah. Ah, oh, man. How do you, how do you guys feel about hatcheting up babies? I think it's I think the axe might have been overkill. Yeah, she could have done it. It's any nice other and way. brutal though, because I think it would have been better if the bird had instead tried to use a rock, because then you would have got like a Ooh. mirror, a mirroring of her smashing the bird in earlier. I learned it from watching you. Mom. That's cool. I also th- I was also thinking maybe the bird Tinya who's more Tinya than Bird at this point, maybe doesn't know how to pick things up. And so dad could have walked in and see her trying to push the crib out the window, like pushing pushing the baby bird out of the nest. But either way, dad comes in, sees what he sees Tinya with a, with an ax, with a little hatchet hovering above his kid. Has she dropped it at this point? Does he see her with the ax in the air or drop on the ground? Because Tinya intentionally falls during her performance because she's she's she she has a psychic link with bird tenure and she doesn't want it to kill the baby so she intentionally messes up which causes bird tenure to drop the axe i don't remember if he's seen her with the axe or her standing over the baby and the axe is on the floor i think the axe is on the floor i think that i, I think the noise of dropping it is what made him come over and then open the right. door axe on the floor crazy tenure who jumps out the window Right, because he doesn't see her face on, but he assumes it's her. Yeah, and then Taro's like, oh, hell no. Hell no. Oh, hell no. And then they drive back. Oh, then that, that's, that's at that point where I'm like, okay, they can for sure see this thing. He is seeing this, I think. Unless, again, it's being rehashed. And, until they got to the house, I, I still thought this was going to be in Tinya's mind. But once right. they drive back and he comes out and confirms, uh, you and your daughter, not welcomed here, She's messed up. You're messed up. I want nothing to do with you people. Is it possible he doesn't see her? She's not there. He just sees the axe, which should not be there. And the only reason the axe would be there is if Tinya had brought it in earlier. I mean, maybe. So she had the smashing thought earlier. And then stopped it, and then it was going through her head, and then she thinks it's happening at the same time during her routine, and then she intentionally does it? Yeah. Maybe. I mean, look, there, you, can, you can really stretch it out and get a little far-fetched with it and still say the entire time it's in her head. But I think they try to make it seem clearly. So yeah, they get back from the competition. He's like, yeah, I seen Tenya in there with an ax and mom's like, we were at a competition. That's literally impossible. Uh-huh. Well, you're both fucking crazy. Da-da-da. And she, the mother follow, follows her in there. It's daylight. 
Mother followers are in there. Yeah, they have a long convo. Then it comes back. It's nighttime. Tenya's still in the car, and the mom comes out there. I'm like, was she in there for, like, hours? Takes a long time to pack. I get She had two bags. And the mom starts bashing her face. Like, she yeah. has a tantrum. Bashing her face into oh, the so good. Into the steering wheel, like, smacking things. Da, 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 da. At this point, so, like, the ma- that's her breaking the mask. Yep. She's literally okay, smashing. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely, yep. Daniel. Because when she comes home, she hasn't bothered cleaning up at all. She doesn't give a fuck nope. about the mask anymore. The charade kisses, is Kisses over. father with the blood, and he's yeah. just like, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, you're yeah. back early. Also, he's, he fucking, he's fucking into it. <laughs> no, the son, oh, God, the son, and him, yeah, he's like, yeah, whatever. He's like, I, oh, yeah, baby. What is wrong with these people? That was my thought. I was like, oh, my God. And then Tenya goes back up to her room, and, you know, Bird Tenya comes over. And this is where she, like, chastises it. And I'm like, uh-oh, Bird Tenya's not going to like that. Master betrays us! <laughs> <laughs> yes, but we do finally get mother-daughter bonding, where they both, where Tenya tells mom there's something else here, and then mom sees it, and then it's knives out time, both of them, just going down trying to stabby-stabby on this thing. Before that, though, she accidentally brushes the bird Tenya's hair. And, like, a chunk comes off. Yeah, yes, that's yes, when yes. she first, like, so I was like, ooh, that's great. But then I'm like, I love but this. did she? That's why I was back, we're like, is it in her head, though? I don't know. But then I also thought, for some reason, the way the mom was reacting, it wasn't how I think a normal person would react to all that shit. So I'm like, does the mother have one of these, too? <laughs> is this just a finish cycle that they go through? Yeah, like, do do, do they all have weird bird things that they don't talk about? We don't talk about our weird bird things. We don't talk. We hunt them down and kill them. That would have been tight. That would have been interesting. And maybe it's the fucking mom's shadow that they've been living with the entire time, and she fucking sucks. Yeah, yeah. because it, because um, because when it happened to the mom, the shadow is the one that died. Okay. She, no. Oh, yeah, a, okay. Oh. The so the integration never happened. She didn't get the transfer of blood. Into the other, into the other vessel. I would, I would almost argue with as horrible as the mother is that the shadow fully took over because that mother's horrible, and we'd see that the sh- the shadow killed her. Yeah. Yes. There were, and there, there was no uh, integration and no individuation. Yes. Yeah, yes. No. Yes. It just stayed. It went. It went full tilt other direction. I'm a full on psychopath because she is. Yes. So they go walking around the the house with knives, telling brother and dad basically, y'all. Y'all stay useless. in your Just hallway. Stay in your hall. Stay in your room. Stay in your hallway. <laughs> it's amazing. Mommy wants to kill it, but Tinya says, "But I hatched it. It's part of her." Yeah, it's my baby. I, I'm, I, but this point, I'm like, "Yeah, movie. We know. We got it. We know. We, we're, we're with you on it." Okay. Yeah, and then uh, so we get more of the like the bird gets hurt, but then Tinya gets hurt, so the connection goes both ways. Mm-hmm. Because the mom stabs, she goes to stab the birdo, but Tinya gets in the way and it stabs her. Oh, the fi- the final thing, yeah, Tenya takes a fatal blow, but that <laughs> doesn't kill the bird. It doesn't, and the bird grabs dying Tenya, pulls her on top of bird, and lets the blood drip into its mouth. Which now finally, after the blood gets in there, is fully closing and healing up to where now the transition to a pure doppelganger, do- I'm sorry, doppelganger, what? I'm sorry, doppelganger, what doppelganger, doppelganger, doppelganger. You want to see my doppeldong? My <laughs> Doppler radar. Doppeldong. Oh, um, yes, yes. From Hogwarts, right? Mm. Right. It's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about professor. it. <laughs> He's my favorite professor. He's my favorite But the trans the transformation is complete. It is a like a one for one copy of her, except for there's still some slight scarring from where the mouth closed. And we're like, oh, what the fuck? And it seems to imply that we are just going to welcome this doppelganger in as the new child much she like speaks, the dog doesn't she yeah she says mama or something like that mama, mother yeah mother and i think the movie cuts off before she says mother you fucking suck, <laughs> fucking suck. and my thanks is like okay now everyone's gonna be happy here because bird tenya is like athletic as fuck that's true that's so true. like she's gonna kill it gymnastics so i'm like wait so does that mother get a happy ending because i'm still thinking like i said it's gonna be a super super gifted bird thing but now we got to bury another body, or was there two? <laughs> Here's the thing: mother has killed the uh, the mask daughter, the one that had to have all the perfection and have everything right. That one just got stabbed. Okay, so okay. And, and now we can let the true emotions of what's happening. It can take a little bit from Tinya, 
But now we can have the individualization, and that Tanya stands up and looks confident as fuck. Yeah. She's like, yeah, who's ruling the, the roost now? But what you're saying, though, in that situation is mother and Tanya are both, are both now, they're over it. We don't need to be perfect anymore. We can just fucking be. Uh, I don't know about mom, but I think Tanya definitely. Well, that's not going to go well for mother. And then my thought was, is she still going to eat vomit? No, she's an adult now. She can eat worms. Okay. Was there an actual tangible creature? This is the thing in The Shining where he gets out of the freezer and there has to be a ghost, right? Otherwise, he can't get out of the freezer. There has to be a physical thing. Otherwise, what did what happened with Taro at his house? What did Taro actually see with the baby? Maybe it's what Daniel was saying is she made it up in her head. But does, does he go to the window when she jumps out? I don't, I don't remember. recall. Because this could be a case of a, an unreliable narrator type situation. Mm-hmm. Every, despite the fact that we are switching, you know, Tanya's not around, this whole thing could be from her perspective. Right, her so I have, an alternate, I have an alternate take on it then. Tanya just, the only thing she sees is that she comes in, she gets back from the gymnastics meet, her mom and the boyfriend have a fight, and then they're forced to leave. So maybe her mind fills in the gap of what could possibly cause that to happen. That being her shadow trying to kill the baby. They have a fight because Taro confronts her about her daughter throwing up. Yes. Is bulimic. And he can tell that she's already put too much pressure on him. The way you're raising your daughter is not okay. And it's caused these issues to surface. And mom is defensive and that causes them. Oh, shit, Daniel, that kind of works. It go. works. It, it, it works. If, it works yeah. if we want it to. <laughs> we got to stop doing these highbrow smart movies, guys. I think we've only done like three and it makes us Maybe think four. too much, and that's not good. We're sitting here speculating, like, so... Does Shark Side have any uh, sequels, <laughs> or... <laughs> Is there a, a, a Crocs exclamation not point? Not yet, but, you know, that was, that's a recent movie. Give it time. We get back in the swing of our things after this, uh, of our standard schlock. Um, first off, wrong kid died. <laughs> okay. Okay. What the fuck was this movie? But also, I liked it. I don't know if I loved it, but I like it. But also, I think I might have loved it, but it's one that I love, possibly, but will probably never watch again. I thought this one I would be more willing to rewatch than, say, The Innocence. And it's it's because of the creature puppet. The creature was fantastic. Loved it. I'd be more willing to rewatch this one just because there's different different ways you can look at it. You want to come at it with. You can come at it looking. from different angles, whereas with the innocence, it's kind of straight on. You could, yes. you can kind of choose your own adventure with this, yeah, yeah, and look for other things to justify your like thoughts, some, like the stuff that, like the thing I just said that everybody liked. I just came up with that just now. Yeah, rehashing a lot of this has changed some of my views on a well, a lot of it. <laughs> the performances were great, like. They were very good at making us hate those characters. <laughs> and that look, if you're getting a reaction, that's the point. And so, yeah, yeah well I, done. That mother, she killed it. The uh, Tinja, yeah, she's great. She's crisp. She's good. She's, yeah, crisp? killed it. Crisp, crisp. She was mint, okay? Look, that little boy, I don't know if he's acting. I think that's just his face, and I fucking hate him. <laughs> like, he's it's a kid where fault. if you see him on the sidewalk, you punch him in the head and be like... That's because <laughs> his parents <laughs> dressed him like a that, fucking, all right? A I don't bur- think you should <laughs> punch him. <laughs> no, oh. the parents would be like, what happened? He'd be like, he punched me like, did you guys see that bird? <laughs> Fucking flew down and hit him in the face. Yeah, then it flew away. I tried to oh. swat at it. I did. I really did. No, sorry, that kid was a fucking asshole. Wrong kid died. But seriously, though, that shot of Bird Tenya, whenever Taro comes in the room and, and she's in the window and she does like the scream back at him. Yeah. Yes, that was so good. Yeah. There was an egg. It hatched. <laughs> we, did hatched not an get, egg. we did not get a dragon donkey. We, we, did we didn't. Do you guys like it? Yep. I li- I, okay, I like this more than The Innocence. I like this more than The Innocence. There's, yeah, there's more to chew on. Persona. 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 The Innocence. There's still a lot that goes on in The Innocence that is, there's just holes, man. And like, this is tight. This is very tight. You can still, you can play with what's actually happening if you want, but it's still well contained. Yeah, I didn't, I never felt like this was dragging. Or, or like, Innocence, I thought you need to cut 30 minutes out of that movie. Whereas this one, I was... yeah. The pacing was just better for me. Pacing was good. The order shit happened in was good. Like, yeah, not a, not a lot of complaints other than, you know, I felt bad sometimes. <laughs> but that was the point. Yeah. Uh, maybe one day we'll watch Nordic 
country movie where we don't have kids killing small animals or just not can we get a happy horror movie what's uh we need to find a horror comedy from that region where's grabbers from no that's not up there that's Ireland. dead snow i feel like dead snow is possibly in that region snow the snow yeah any other comments <laughs> on this one so okay so we we should do uh any movie recommendations recommendations yeah. uh, based on this the one innocence. i think if you like this you you might enjoy the innocence if you want to think about yeah. things, yeah, the innocence. Also, alternatively, uh, Persona Four, Persona Three, Four, and Five are great video games. Yes, I would go play those. That explore similar themes. If you want it to be that you're not entirely, you're trying to figure out what's happening, you can play Her Story. Sure. Yeah. 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 Okay. Other than that, I think we've. I mean, uh, Psycho, High Tension, Tale of Two Sisters. I'm trying to think if I got anything that's really just on the nose. I mean, it, depending on what angle we're playing the movie, you know, yeah, if it's it, just a if it's just a pure psychotic break for the child, there's a lot of things. Bad mile. If you want, we it, talked about if you earlier. Want, mm-hmm. Yeah, bad mile. If you want something that's just fucking weird, I mean, you can go watch Men. I don't know that one. You don't know that one yet. Oh, oh no, you meant you could just like go outside and watch oh, yeah, Men yeah, yeah. and see how they move around. No, the movie that, Men that's would fucking be weird. I'd be interested to rewatch that with you guys and then try to do this psycho- psychology bullshit. To that yeah, we're gonna well. we're gonna do we're gonna do men at some point. If you're looking at purely just the again the psychological break of the child, not necessarily with her having her own personal avatar, her persona, if you will. Which <clears throat> I, I, there's something on the in my head. I know there's something else just like this. You could argue uh, more recent uh, *Malignant*. MC. Yes, that was the, yeah, yeah, that was the other uh, one. I, *Malignant*. Yes, yes, that's yes. *Malignant*. If you're looking for similar. Uh, 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 similar things of you know hey is this real is it i know right if you want something where it's a pure mental breakdown of someone who's been in a weird family situation maybe look into pearl i haven't seen it pearl uh it's fantastic i don't know there's there's a lot of just is this person crazy type movies i just can't think of them all right now because i'm a failure and you guys put too much pressure on me oh no you are you gonna you're gonna birth a little shadow baby i would but eggs are really expensive right now a Shrek. <laughs> Does he fuck the dragon in the first one? I don't think he gets dragon babies to the second one. Um, the relationship is set up in the first. One. What what position do you think they do? Dragon. Wait, so they're, they're fucking cars? No, 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 no. <laughs> have you not seen Shrek? Do you not know what I'm talking about? What? Wait, have, have Ryan you not just, seen Shrek? Has Ryan just revealed his ignorance? What? I've seen Shrek. And Shrek 2? I've I've seen Shrek. I've seen Shrek 2. I've seen the Shrek musical. I've seen the Shrek musical too. It's you great. just wanted to say dragons fucking cars. Dragon, dra- dragon position, and that's you're what right. Dragon- you're you're right. You're correct. Cut this. I'm stupid. I didn't yeah, go to college. He didn't, he didn't you go know to what? college. That's the only reason I joined this podcast was to hear that. There we go. Dragoning done. Achievement <laughs> unlocked. So my my personal goal was to mention that I am Palm Horse State Champion of whatever year that was, and yours was to mention dragoning. And I'm just glad I finally got it out there that I am not a woman, nor have I ever been. <laughs> Thankfully, listeners, our next episode is about 2022's Deadstream, which you can view on Shudder. It is a much more fun movie, way less depressing. You know, we don't feel real sad during that one. And that's kind of what we need. Elevate the mood. We can't do all these dark, depressing ones all at once. We, uh, we want you to be happy. We want to be happy. So... Go check that out before coming in to listen to us talk about it, because only a crazy person would listen to a podcast about a movie without watching the movie first. But, well, maybe you are a crazy person. That's okay. We don't judge. We take all crazy folks around here. So go check that out on Shudder and then meet back with us in two weeks. Okay, let's put all of that, you know, big people talk back into the egg. Let's close the shell up and let's get this. Put all the eggs back in the nest. Yeah, put them all back there. Unjellify the bird. Under the bed. Hide them. Go back to our perfect, perfect lives. And let's let's get out of here. So, uh, as always, I am your horrible, never gonna change host, Kenny. I'm your favorite bird boy, Daniel. Oh, that's good. I'm Ryan. Aww. <laughs> and you know what, bud? That's just fine. That's just fine. You just be you, buddy. We'll see you all on the sunny side. No, oh, anyone got any other egg puns? <laughs> oh, that was an egg you, pun. You bunch of Benedicts. Shrek. I can do a- eggs. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>